The title has a crossed out word, making it a hassle for book catalogs. Do we call it Claudia's friend? Claudia's friend friend? Or Claudia's free end friend? Argofomp book review. Argofomp book review. This book was written by Nola Thacker. We start with Claudia daydreaming during her English class. The teacher has to call Claudia's name twice to get her attention. The teacher summons Claudia to her desk after class. Uh-oh, Claudia's in trouble. Claudia apologizes for her misbehavior, and no, just kidding. Claudia starts ignoring the teacher after the first sentence. Claudia is not a good role model. So it's no surprise to me that Claudia's in danger of failing English class if she doesn't get a good grade on the big test next week. Claudia tells her friends, and they agree to help tutor her. Surprisingly, Claudia's parents are 100% okay with this idea. Sure, let's put Claudia's giggly friends in charge of her academic future! And yes, Claudia expects to goof off with her friends instead of study. So she's surprised when Stacy takes things seriously. Stacy forces Claudia to study in the kitchen where there are no distractions. Not even a clock, because Claudia would rather look at a clock than do work. Stacy keeps Claudia on task, and Claudia hates it. Our plot kid today is Shay Radowski. After a lot of testing, he's been diagnosed with dyslexia. Even though he's a smart kid, he thinks he's a dummy, and he gets mad at himself whenever he makes mistakes. It's actually pretty sad to see Shay struggle with schoolwork, because unlike certain people, he actually tries to do it. At the next club meeting, they get an anonymous note that reads, You are very nice. They get a few notes like this over the course of the book. Every girl assumes these are love notes just for her. Uh-oh, this is how the Trojan War got started, you know? Luckily, this isn't the main storyline, or else there would be bloodshed. Instead, we get a humorous scene where Christy puts on a skirt and tries to seduce Bart into confessing. Poor Bart is left confused, which says a lot about their relationship. Claudia draws pictures all over her English flashcards. Stacy is not amused that Claudia spent her time drawing instead of studying. Claudia, on her part, is deeply offended that Stacy didn't compliment her pictures. So when Stacy gives Claudia a writing journal, Claudia decides she's going to make a secret journal where she writes mean things about Stacy because Stacy is the worst, the meanest tutor ever. And I'm sure this is going to blow up in Claudia's face. On a side note, why does Claudia need a journal to practice writing? She writes in the Babysitter's Club notebook all the time. Why doesn't that count as writing practice? Continuity! Claudia babysits the Radowskis. Shay spills something, and he complains about how stupid he is. Shay was hurting. I took a deep breath and whimped out. I said, Shay, there's nothing wrong with you. You just learn things a different way. Concentrate. You can do it. Just pay attention and try your best. I find it weird that encouraging a child is considered the wrong thing to do. Next time, Claudia does the right thing when she complains, Homework is awful and it takes forever to do. I hate it so much. Shay can't believe that somebody else is just as bad at school as he is. So he asks Claudia to help him with homework. Together, they work out spelling rules like E usually comes before A and rhyming words are spelled the same way. Their spelling improves a lot as a result, or at least, it helps Claudia much more than Stacy's tutoring. When Stacy tries to teach Claudia the difference between its and its, Claudia throws a fit and the two girls yell at each other. Best friends, tragically destroyed by grammar. Claudia also tutors Shay in math, but it's not so much tutoring as letting Shay do all the work. Seriously, he should be tutoring her. Claudia's only real contribution is coloring in the bars on a chart. Shay says the colors are nice, and Claudia is so super happy. Oh, he said my colors were nice. That's so much better than Stacy. I hate flashcard illustrations. Stacy asks to see Claudia's journal at the same time that Marianne distracts Claudia with some magazine talk. So as a result, Claudia gives Stacy the wrong journal. Stacy ends up with the mean journal by accident. Oh no! The next secret note tells the girls to show up at a cafe. The babysitters figure this is a prank, so they decide to counter-prank by dressing up like slobs. It's not a prank, though. It's a surprise thank-you party from some of the babysitting kids. The girls are highly gratified, and Shay gives Claudia a nice note, thanking her for being a good friend. Uh, friend. 
Claudia realizes, a friend is a friend, no matter how you spell it. She and Stacy apologize to each other at the same time, and Claudia gets a B- on her big test. Hooray! The end. Post-book follow-up. I was expecting to dislike this book, but the parts with Shay were emotional and well done. I especially like the chapter where Claudia and Shay discuss tutoring styles. Claudia wants a tutor like her grandmother, who constantly encouraged her. Shay wants a tutor like Stacy, who isn't afraid of hurting his feelings. Clearly, Claudia and Shay should just switch tutors and everything would be resolved. I, I found this part to be borderline fascinating, and I've been out of school for a decade. I did not like the storyline of Stacy tutoring Claudia, mainly because Claudia is a terrible student. She ignores her teachers, she latches onto any excuse to avoid work, and she attacks anyone who tries to help her. She's done that in previous books, and she does that here. I'm sorry, I don't feel bad for Claudia because she gets bad grades. She doesn't even try to work at school. She's just getting what she deserves. Claudia daydreamed so much at the start of this book, I half thought she would be diagnosed with attention deficit disorder. But no, as Claudia openly admits, the problem is that she's just lazy. Whew, that Claudia bashing got a little heavy there. Well, Claudia was awful in this book, that's why. Stacy is also awful, and she definitely power trips while being Claudia's tutor. I can understand where both girls are coming from, but they're just plain awful to each other for no reason at all. It, it's just like Stacy and the Missing Ring, including the ending part where they mutually apologize to each other, not because there's any real reason, but because it's the end of the book and we've got to resolve the fight as soon as possible. This book was a little heavy on filler material. The longest chapters were the recap chapter and an irrelevant chapter where Stacy babysits David Michael. I think the two babysitting chapters should have been swapped out for Broddicks and Arnolds. That way the readers will know who they are when they appear at the thank you party. In back of the book news, the About the Author page has a new picture of Anne Martin. Wow, they changed pictures after 60 books. And there's an advertisement for Anne Martin's So Cool biography. That's so cool! Overall, I like the main plot of Shay's school problems, and I dislike the plot of Claudia's school problems. Even though they're clearly mirrored storylines, there's a lot of similarities and crossover. The subplot about the secret notes was cute, and since I like two-thirds of this book, I get Babysitter's Club number 63, Claudia's free end, friend, a 7 out of 10.